do not have discretionary authority over the stimulus bill. Albany does. Because of the decision, as I explained, that was made to channel federal government, federal funds through state governments. I don't get to direct those monies. I can fight like hell for them, which I do. And we've lost more battles than we've won. But trust me, if it was up to me, of the $29.3 billion in federal money in the stimulus package that came to the state of New York, I'd write a check for $7 million today to hand to you. If I could do it, I would do it. So but I don't have that authority. We're not going to see any big uh, photo opportunities in September and October. God, I hope you will. I hope you will. Everyone in this room says build a hospital. I hope I can pull it off. Okay, so here's a vote. Who wants me not to fight for the millions of dollars necessary to build a hospital? <laughs> All in favor of me fighting for the millions of dollars to build a hospital, raise your hand. All right. What do you want me to do, sir? You keep voting for bills in Washington to spend more money that we don't have. You can print it, but I can't. I got to go to work every day and earn it. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, to hell with it. I'm not going to work in a hospital. You're asking me to take a global pro problem and screw over everybody in this room with a micro answer. That's what you're challenging me to do. Now, everybody wants action immediately. Absolutely. In any, in any situation. And the prioritization for FEMA and this issue was to restore first food, water, shelter, financing for homes, and then take the larger projects on as they could be taken on. Now, would I like to see that happen with a leak? Everybody would. Did we try to do our very best to make it as quick as possible? I think we did. Is it going to make everybody happy? No. So we stand today, now, in the middle of a series of fights about the interpretation of regulations, what is absolutely essential to be replaced, what is not, what was damaged by a flood, what was damaged by mold thereafter, all those details. So again, I, when I opened my remarks, I told you, I, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that everyone's going to be 100% happy today with the outcome. I am cautiously optimistic that we are going to win a tremendously large portion of this fight. And I wouldn't say that if I wasn't, because that would be really dumb. Now, other than invading the mint and burning it down, I do everything I can do legislatively. But the answer does not lie in the fact of your federal and state representatives further ignoring the needs of rural New York. Because if we didn't fight for it, we'd get nothing. And many have already said we get precious little. Are you committed to a single payer plan? Yes. Two. Are you By the way, so here's what's the here's what's the single payer plan. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Everyone goes, oh my God, you're a socialist. No, I'm not. No, you're not. Right. What I'm trying to illustrate is the fact that it is time to have an honest and not soundbite driven, disingenuous, screaming and yelling debate about health care. Because if we don't, nothing else we're talking about is going to impact this economy. Nothing. <coughs> it's increasing at 10 to 14 percent a year, which, by the way, is one of the reasons I was against the bill. Because the reason we're having the whole debate to begin with is why? Because it costs too much. So what are the cost drivers? And unfortunately, in this bill, it is my opinion and the opinion of others that nothing was really done to focus on reducing costs. That's a huge issue. That's why the bills fail, in my opinion. Now, what's going to happen in the future? I have been advocating for eight months to take the topics in the comprehensive health care bill and put them into specific individual pieces of legislation. I got to tell Illegality for discrimination on pre-existing conditions. Allowability for children aged 28 and under to stay on their parents' group health insurance plans at group health insurance rates. By the way, the insurance companies love that. You touched on it. Young people generally have lower health care costs. But sir, you can't say they don't need it because nobody knows what health care they're going to need in the morning when they get to an automobile accident at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I was 39 years old at the very top of my game, a lot younger than I am today. Probably somewhat better looking too. And I was diagnosed with terminal cancer and given four months to live as an active duty military officer and the principal aide of the commander of NATO. If you would have told me at 8 o'clock in the morning that's how my afternoon was going to go, I had no clue. And I was, I was so stunningly physical fit that my wife still really thought I looked good. Didn't have to lie to me, built my ego up. Now I will be back. I hope with a check. I do. 
I want to get this done. And I fully understand and respect this gentleman's concerns and this gentleman's concerns. And, and ma'am, you brought up a very good point. I got to give you the QB dog about getting the, uh, getting the Army Corps of Engineers in for long-term studies. I have not yet done that, and I will. And I will try to be as accessible as I humanly can be throughout the remainder of my term in the United States Congress. I'll leave you with one thought. And it's particularly germane to my experience now across 79 town hall meetings. With discourse and discussion, with open debate of ideas and mutual respect, that that which separates us as Americans is so much less than that which binds us together that if we looked at ourselves from 30,000 feet, we would sometimes wonder why we argue so much. Because the body of what we agree on is so much bigger than the body of what we disagree on. We often have incredible emotional arguments, frankly, around the margins. Our core beliefs are almost universal. They are. And so I ask you to remember that. And I appreciate the respect that you've all shown for each other today as people ask very diverse questions. Until I have a chance to be back here, I want to wish you the most important thing of all, and that's good health and God bless. Thank you all very much.